Hello, Cancer, getting ready to do your reading? Wow, I just dropped half the deck. Okay, let's start with this deck here for you, Cancer, and see what is happening for you at this time, Cancer. Oh, intimacy. Okay, one more, please. And balancing the scales and dreaming of you. Okay, under the deck is hurt. So someone is thinking about the intimate moments the two of you shared, okay? So just a heads up. Um, so it's kind of like you, okay, this is what balancing the scales. Okay. This is what this makes me feel like sometimes, you know, when you, if you have someone, you, you go to sleep with someone and then they just discard you. Like it's a one night stand. You weren't expecting that. Um, you're hurt by it, whatever. This is like the opposite. It's like somebody's thinking about you, the intimate moments they had, they're missing that. They're thinking about the two of you being, you know, together in that way. That's what that's telling me here. So it's, it's like the opposite like if you've ever felt like used or discarded after sleeping with someone this is like now they're thinking about you they're missing you what the two of you had but it's coming down to in the bedroom at this point but that's good so they're thinking about the times you guys were together they loved it obviously they're thinking about it again okay let me just get going more okay stop talking I cancer got kind of swept away by that all right So Seven of Cups, that's kind of like that dreaming card again, thinking about something. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. You guys are very focused on this reading. It's something to do with this person, sex, being together. Okay. So something with the, you know, the lover's card, like I always say in this particular deck, reminds me of a, a intimate card, passion. Um, he's looking up at her. He's really, you know, adoring her. So it's like somebody is, is really thinking about the time you guys spent together and this could be wanting to ask you out. So let's go back around and see. So you left quite an impression on this person. The Sun card, Judgment, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, and then the Death card. I don't know. You you might... This person could come back around and maybe you're going to turn them down with the World and Death card here possibly. But um, someone is like thinking about you and wanting to restart this and wanting to build a new relationship or rebuild a relationship with you here. Ten of Wands. They know it could be difficult or you know. Six of Wands. Looking at the past. Nine of Wands. And then, wow. Okay. This may definitely be a retrograde thing, you guys. This could be something where they do come back and you say no. They might be a Scorpio, but you have this, you know, obviously blocking and ending the death card. You may be happily single right now. So it kind of feels like the energy of, no matter how you feel right now, no matter what's going on, this person is wanting to come back in and wanting to redo this or, or start this or, what is the Nine of Wands? But I feel like they can't get to you in a sense. Nine of Wands, okay. I kind of feel like also this person may work somewhere else. Like they have a job, a very, um, strenuous job at the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person may work outdoors. I'm actually seeing, like, I saw, like, I guess lumber because of the wands, but probably that's not what they do. Uh, they could travel a lot or anything, but there's something about them missing you. They, There's nothing here that shows me this is a third party in any ways, but that might be also what I'm seeing. But um, it's almost like, you know, again, like a 180 type of reading you know, the, tab the tables have turned, like, because it's showing me clearly somebody is thinking about the two of you together intimately, and they daydream about this, they think about this, it makes them happy, and now they're wanting to come back in, or come in, or whatever, and see, you know, can you guys build on this foundation? Looks like you're saying hell no, but, you know, this is not set in stone. What is the seven of coins? What is the seven of coins? Three of Cups. So two of coins is under there. So yeah, could there be a third person in this reading? Of course. But could this also be celebration, happiness, going out, um, thinking about you? Yes. One more for the Seven of Wands. Out in the cold. Yeah, so you may put this person out in the cold. So you may be able to be the one who's saying no this time. So I don't know if the two of you, like if you slept with this person and then they just kind of like took off or discarded you and now they're coming back for more. It looks like it's more than just sex but it looks like it's something where you don't care you don't want to go down this road again 
It's kind of like you have the upper hand this time around. Um, what is the Six of Wands? Page of Coin, Communication, and Five of Swords. Might be an Earth sign. Might be a Capricorn. You really caught this person's attention. That's the whole thing about this reading. I mean, you've definitely caught this person's attention, but I don't think that you're really into them that much at this point in the reading. Morning person. Mm, okay, that makes sense. What else? What else? Who else is this person or what do we need to know? They could be a long distance lover. Okay, that's what I'm getting also because I'm getting them definitely being somewhere else um, and obviously not with you, but I am getting like somewhere, like they may travel a lot or fly a lot for work or again, work outdoors or they could work on a ship. Maybe they're in the military or something. Um, so this person is probably going to come back in during retrograde here, Venus retrograde up until what is it, June 25th. So it's probably why I'm seeing this, but again, it doesn't have to be. This could be someone you're dealing with right now. So you may not know, like they're missing you. They daydream and dream about you. Um, let me see, what else do we need to know? Let me switch decks. What else do we need to know about this person? Okay, so they are heartbroken. They are missing you. And they see you as a wish fulfilled and wanting a new beginning. Now, this might be you also. This might be your energy. For some of you, you may like to know this. You might want this person back in your life. What else? The star card. Wow. Three of cups. Let me see what that is. Seven of coins. Again, this could be obviously looking back at the past if there was a third party. But then again, but this is like being happy. Something new. Celebrating with the three of cups. Um. The moon and justice. Okay, for some of you, again, the moon represents not knowing what this person, you know, what happened, where they went, what they were thinking. You're going to find out now with justice. They may also open up about something that you don't know about um, with these cards showing up. Something you always wanted to question or wanted to know about them. Maybe what they're going to reveal also. It could be a Pisces or a Libra, but uh, or Aquarius. What is this Three of Cups over here? I'm gonna I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups. What is this Three of Cups? Messages six. Okay, so honestly, I'm getting that this is not a third party situation. There doesn't have to be a third party anywhere in this reading, even though it keeps showing up. It doesn't mean that it keeps showing up as you're happy. There's victory here. I mean, maybe they were with somebody else in the past, but now they realize you're the one they truly love and want to be with. We have some spying going on again. The Seven of Coins is under here, but they'll get the same cards. Three of Swords, Eight of Coins, and Justice. They may have left for a different job or something like that. That's what, what came between the two of you. Um, hmm. But what's interesting is your outcome in this deck is, is like shutting the door, telling them no. But yet these cards show me that you're happy. So maybe that you're confused. Let's see how this person feels about you. Let's do that. Okay. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? What do they think and feel about you right now? Okay, so they're wondering about you. They're a little bit obsessed. They know that you are blocking them. And they're, they're feeling... Um, Okay, so they know that they have to come back in and make it up to you. They may have they may have hurt you or left you in the past, but you're definitely definitely gonna have an aggressive stance. I kind of feel like this is them looking over at you. But how do they feel about you? How do they feel? This is what they're thinking, what you're going to do. How do they feel? Is there love here? Okay, so they had a breakthrough. This could be them arguing with themselves, five of wands, but this is them wanting to come see you. Moving forward, temperance, the wheel of fortune, and working together. This person knows that they screwed up. Ten of wands, justice, and the nine of swords. They know that whatever shit you give them, they deserve. This person is really making their way back towards you. They want to work work things out. They want to work together. 
three of coins, ten of cups, nine of coins. They're willing to fight for it. This person may, okay, I was going to say may not have finances very good, but no, it looks like they're doing well. Uh, you guys may financially rebuild very quickly. If that is an issue, um, what is this devil back here? There may have been someone else, um, but it, that's how I'm seeing the Five of Swords and the Two of Coins. Like they're not choosing that person. That's over the devil energy. Um, but again, I feel like this person realizes their mistake. Wants to rebuild. We have the two good tens here. Wants to focus on the two of you now. So there probably was someone else in the picture now, or you know, that's who they're getting rid of to come back to you. I feel like there's very protective energy now. Like they want to protect this union the two of you have. They want to take good care of you in a sense. Um, they want long-term financial stability and happiness. I feel like this person in the past may have been like it was all about them and what they wanted, where they wanted to live, where they wanted to go. Now they, they're they seeing that they can't be that way. They can't be so controlling. Um, maybe the person, if they're with someone, there's no passion there. There's no intimacy there. And they're missing that about you. The two of you maybe had a very strong connection. You know, just because you love someone and you're in a connection doesn't mean like it's always going to be intimate and good. Sometimes the connection and the passion just isn't there between two people. And that is important, you know, to have that, that connection. So what you got, what the two of you had is stronger than what they've had with anybody else is also what this reading is telling me. And though you can't build a relationship necessarily on that, like I said, it is important. All right, what else do we need to know? Anything else? What else do we need to know about this person? Okay. What else do we need to know about this person? They can be a social butterfly. They Oh, they're feeling very insecure right now. So they're not getting the attention that they normally get that they like from other people. Um, and they are your soulmate. Okay. Under the deck is they can, um, supportive. So I feel like they can be very supportive. I feel like that's what's going to change about this relationship. They're going to be more supportive of the two of you and the relationship you guys have together. So, all right, so that's what I have for you guys. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.